Hey everyone, it's Rod with Power Group. Welcome back on the Pursuit of Wealth, your home for MJ Stocks, crypto assets, and interviews. Today is Monday, July 24th. Hope you had a great weekend. And in this video, by popular request, going to go over a tutorial, explain how to buy and sell XRP in Canada using Wealthsimple. There's no fees. You can buy stocks, you can buy crypto. There's tons of assets you can choose from. And we're going to be talking about how to buy and sell and then the difference between buying and selling versus deposits and withdrawals. But before we get to it, make sure to smash the like, help support me in the channel, it doesn't cost you anything. If you're new, you can subscribe, all that good stuff, tick the bell, you'll be notified on any future videos or whenever I do a live stream. And then, like I said, we'll go through a quick tutorial here in just a moment, but I do wanna go over uh, some things here before we jump into the tutorial. Uh, so XRP, no fee in Canada on Well Simple Now Live, I did a short, but I, again, this was just kind of letting everybody know that this was breaking news that Well Simple did add it at, shortly after the XRP declared non, a non-security after the judge released the summary judgment and then shortly after it became available on well simple so we'll go through a tutorial here in a moment but like i said well simple is a great way for newcomers into the space this is going to be great for mass adoption right because it's very simple there's no fees you can fund the account very very quickly i'll show you here in a moment during the tutorial and you can also sign up uh, you'll get a reward as well so if you go to the pow group youtube channel and click on about you can scroll down these are affiliate links so full disclosure i will get a kickback uh, as a affiliate to these companies but you can see here there's all different kinds of uh, quest trade for stocks you can do uphold uh, ledger nanner which is a crypto hardware wallet and then you have the well simple link here and a few other options as well these are trusted and vetted links that i use each and every day uh, that i 100 percent recommend and then like i said if you want to sign up using my affiliate link, you can actually get a reward. You can win some free stocks. I wanted to also share with this, the shout out to the Pow Group member who shared this in the Pow Group, uh, Pow Group private community to know who you are. They reached out to Well Simple and Rayan said, thanks for reaching out about this. My name's Rayan. I'd be happy to assist with this. Since XRP has only been recently added to the list of cryptos we support at Well Simple, we don't have infrastructure built yet to support deposits. So buying and selling is different, right? You're, you're putting Canadian dollars on Well Simple and then you're buying and selling assets, whether it be a stock or a crypto. Buying and selling, you're exchanging fiat, so in this case, Canadian dollars, for a stock or a crypto. So that's buying and selling, right? Deposits and withdrawals is whenever you deposit crypto from another exchange, or you have a hardware wallet or a software wallet, and you wanna say, for example, you wanna send Bitcoin to Wellsimple from, let's say you have Bitcoin on Binance or you have it on Uphold, and then you click on deposit, you can send Bitcoin over the Bitcoin network and then deposit it onto Well Simple. So that's a deposit. And then in, if you want to withdraw, and let's say you have Bitcoin on Well Simple, you could go to Well Simple, click on Move Funds, right? Which I'll show you in the tutorial here in a minute, and then click on Withdraw. And then that would enable you to withdraw your Bitcoin to another exchange or another wallet, right? So you're sending Bitcoin from Well Simple to another exchange or a wallet on the Bitcoin network. That's a withdrawal. And then sending from another exchange on the Bitcoin network into Well Simple is a deposit. Regarding if, I'm glad to share that we are working on this currently and it's a big priority for us at the moment. I can't guarantee anything yet, but it's certainly something that we're desperately wanting to offer for our clients now that we are able to support XRP on the platform. Regarding when, based on the complexity of the build, it could take us a few weeks, if not months, to have this rolled out to our clients. Once it's built, we'll need to test it thoroughly before we can release this feature publicly so that once released, it's a seamless experience for our clients. Once rolled out, you can, we'll be able to notify you on the Tip, as a typical well simple fashion so again you can buy and sell xrp right now but you can't deposit or withdraw so if you buy xrp on well simple you have to keep it on there and you can't send xrp that you existing that you own existing um, from another exchange or let's say you existing you have existing xrp on an exchange or in a wallet you can't send it to well simple yet there are a ton of cryptos which i'll show you here in the in the tutorial that you can but again it just hasn't been that technic that functionality hasn't been added yet so we can't send or receive crypto directly on well simple but you can buy and sell so there's it's important to distinguish buying and selling from withdrawing and depositing right buying and selling has to do with fiat and exchanging it for canadian dollars into a crypto or a stock and then same vice versa selling that crypto or stock into canadian dollars and then deposits and withdrawals is is simply transferring crypto from one exchange or one wallet using the crypto network that you're using over to well simple right so very important to distinguish those but you can also buy this is my favorite exchange it's called uphold again if you want to see a link to that you can go to the about section and then you can buy up to 250 crypto assets on here you can buy xrp uh, again i've used this platform for many years and i can 100 vouch for it uh, there's also binance where you can buy xrp but as we know we're not going to be 
Uh, in Canada, it's not going to be offered for much longer. So I would not encourage using Binance at the moment. I would encourage using Uphold. And then you can also use ShakePay as well, which I use here in Canada, but they only support Bitcoin and Ethereum at the moment. So what you could do is you could fund your account via e-transfer on ShakePay. And again, there's a link to that in the about section here. Go to click, click on ShakePay and then you can fund your account via e-transfer. You can buy Bitcoin or Ethereum and then you can send that to Uphold, sell that, and then you can buy XRP that way. That's another way to do it. And then it's another uh, off-ramp and on-ramp for your fiat currency, right? So if you want to cash out your crypto and then sell and then put it into your bank account, it's just another way. So I have Uphold, I have ShakePay, I have Binance, I have all these different options just in case. Because as you know, when the when the case came out and the, the verdict came out and Ripple had that majority win in that case in summary judgment, Uphold was actually bogged down and you couldn't actually do anything. So it's nice to have a second option like Binance or Wellsimple uh, or even ShakePay. You can't buy and sell XRP directly on ShakePay, not yet, but it's nice to have another option for withdrawals right into your bank account. So those off ramps and on ramps. And then also I encourage you, if you want to buy and sell on Wellsimple, again, you can't take it off of there right yet, but that functionality can potentially be coming soon. But Uphold, let's say you buy XRP on Uphold, I would strongly encourage you to withdraw it to a ledger or you know a Trezor or some, some other hardware wallet where you custody your own crypto, not your keys, not your crypto, as the saying goes. So I, this is what I use to store my XRP and all of my other crypto. I only got about you know five or 10% of my holdings on exchanges at any given time. And that's only if I'm looking to buy and sell, right? Uh, but 95%, the majority is on my ledger. And you can also sell crypto directly on the ledger, right? So the thing with this is, is it's a bit more, the fees are a bit higher, but again, it's another option to be able to cash in and cash out and uh, buy and sell and on-ramp, off-ramp and on-ramp into the crypto space and then into fiat and Canadian dollars, US dollars, what have you. So just another option to be able to convert your crypto. I'm going to jump into the tutorial. And we'll end the video off with that. Hopefully this was helpful for you. If it was, smash the like, share the video with anybody that might find value. It's Rob with Power Group. Thanks again for joining us in the pursuit of wealth and we'll jump into the tutorial. So open the Wealth Simple app, click on crypto. You have to set up your crypto account and then go through all of the procedures link your checking account, and then instantly fund your account with however much you want. You can do so up to a certain amount per day, but in this instance, we'll do $50. And then after you funded that, it'll say $50 available to trade. You can scroll down, click on your existing assets, or you can click on the search icon, type in the search bar, in this example, XRP, click on XRP, click on the buy button, and then type in the amount that you want to buy. You can type in $5, you can do $50 or you can just simply click on the max button and then that will give you the max amount that you can buy with said dollar value. Then you just confirm the purchase, confirm order. The order will get sent and order complete. So click on done. Now you can click on the dollar sign and then click move funds. And then you can click on receive crypto. And this is, this is how you would deposit crypto from another exchange or a wallet. And then you would just go through the list that they have supported. Right now, they do not support XRP, but there's a list of all the coins that they support. And then you can click send crypto. So if you have crypto on well, simple, you can actually send it as well, but you need to confirm your identity. I haven't verified my identity yet. And like I said, I don't really have any plans to withdraw right now. And the majority of the crypto that I have on well, simple is XRP. So you can't even do that yet anyway. So it's kind of a... Uh, a pointless thing to do at the moment. But again, uh, you can do that at a later date, get that set up so that you are prepared uh, for whenever that functionality does happen to reach the platform. But hopefully that was helpful for you. Again, if you could smash the like, if you think I earned it here today, and then share the video with anybody that might find value. Again, it's Rob with Power Group, and we'll see you on the next video.